ho, ho. Here's the cat again. Mm. Get down. We ready? Welcome to Dorvin Kager. I'm Tanner. And I'm Rob. And today, we have a very special review for you. It's Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Holidays. Happy Kwanzaa. Did I miss anything? Uh, no. Yom Kippur. Is that not... That is not. I'm very wrong. Anyway, today we are reviewing KBS Espresso. Yes! This is what I'm talking about. This is, if you don't know about KBS, correct yourself. This is one of the best beers by founders you could possibly, possibly find. What they do is they take a stout, shove tons of chocolate, shove tons of coffee into it, then they age it in bourbon barrels in caves in Michigan's for an entire, in Michigan's, in Michigan for an entire year. There's several Michigans. Here. There's so many Michigans. Well, this year, they used espresso, and well, I'm they, stoked. They, technically, they have their regular, and they have an espresso. Yeah, we've already done the 2019. So this is the, this is the espresso that they have. This is a seasonal for them. At so this excited. Point. So um, excited. Also, they're talking about maybe making KBS year-round. I saw that. I saw that. Stupid, stupid decision. So, this is, I disagree, because that means we can get KBS more often. All right, this is 12% alcohol by volume. It was bottled on 11, 14 of 19. And, uh, guys, we're going to get it going. Movie magic. Look at that. How did these pour themselves? We don't know. It's Christmas magic. Just like every other time that we cut away and come back. <laughs> All right, so it's black as night, which is wonderful. Oh, it smells like espresso. Wow. Lots of coffee. Yeah, there's no light. I'm looking through a, at a skylight through this, and there is nothing. Probably I'm just seeing my own darkened soul reflection. <laughs> Probably because it's 12%. You don't have, I mean, it's a very thick, I mean, it's got legs to it. The lacing is nice. It's got, yeah, it's got good legs to it, good lacing, barely any head, but what little head you do get is mulatto, dark mulatto. There's so much, there's so much coffee involved in this. Are you ready to get into it? Let's get, cheers. Mmm. Wow. That is, ooh, that's good. That's really good. It's not, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna say it. It doesn't, it's not as good as a regular KBS in my opinion. Okay. I well, think I... that it's a little too bitter on the back because of the espresso. Here's what I will say. Do you like KBS? If the answer is yes, and you also really love coffee, try this. That's because just for you. The espresso almost takes over. It almost takes over where, with the original KBS, you can kind of get the uh, subtleties, right? Who's of the, the KBS? Fall off the chair. That's why it was funny. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Monster <laughs> Cat. Right? So He's dumb. He's so dumb. Um, so, yeah. But like with the original KBS, you kind of get the chocolate more. You get the bourbon barrel. You you definitely you, get that bourbon barrel. You get the coffee, and it's all balanced. This isn't this is, as balanced. It's very it's very coffee coffee front heavy. Yeah. Very good. And that's the espresso. And on the back end. It's really just, it's all coffee, mainly, with a little bit of, of barrel age and a little bit of uh, vanilla. But you know what? Something that I appreciate, appreciate about founders is they just come out and say it. Their beer's not for everybody, okay? So if you don't like coffee, first of all, why are, why are you picking up a beer that's espresso if you don't you know like what, coffee? You know what else isn't for everybody? What's that? Krampus. Krampus. But you know what's one of my favorite Christmas movies and Christmas traditions? Krampus. It's amazing. I just like the idea of something stealing children to eat them. Is that bad? Is, was I not allowed to say that out loud? Anyway, guys, I'm going to give this, um, you know what, though? Cannibal Holocaust! <laughs> For, I mean, it is still KBS, though. That being said, it's a really good coffee stout. I mean, it's one of the best I mean, coffee it's, stouts it's, it's, you're going to have, I think. It's really good as a coffee stout. It's just the, for me, the espresso just makes it too bitter. It is bitter. It is bitter. It, but but you drink you drink espresso espresso like it's an actual cup of coffee. I snore espresso. That's how I start every morning. Just a line of espresso. Yeah, espresso. Is that a funny way for saying cocaine? Espresso. What are you gonna give it? I'm gonna give it a three and a half. Three and a half. Three point five. Being the coffee addict I am, I'm gonna give it a strong four. It's a wonderful coffee style. You just lose some of the subtleties that KBS brings to the table when you have so much coffee. I'm getting barely any chocolate. I'm getting I'm getting vanilla notes in it. A little bit, but the, even the bourbon barrel is a back. It's an afterthought. The the majority of this is coffee. I agree. Coffee, but it's good. Check it out. 
Like, subscribe, hit that little bell at the bottom, and follow us on Instagram and Facebook for all sorts of Dwarven Kager shenanigans. And if you are looking forward to split the craziness here at Dwarven Kager, hit us up in that Patreon link below. Blue. Check out our beer videos, check out our cigar videos, check out our budget booze reviews, our check shenanigans, our rants. rants, there's food, there's just Check out everything. some just of the cooking videos, coming, which are almost obsolete. Coming at you guys. I also used to open cards. Do a deep dive. Anyway, guys, till next time. If you don't watch every video. You're no longer a fan. You're dead to us. Are, you gonna, are we going to choose this, or are you just going to... Yeah, I just wanted to drink before I did that. You want to drink before you drink? Well, now i got to have another. I just don't fucking know about you sometimes. Cheers.